Hey, what's up, guys? Pase Baller here. We are now on this uh, sixth game of this March 15, 2000, no, March 16, 2022 NBA game day. Sorry about that. Uh, and we got Portland Trail Blazers here with a record of 26 and 41, visiting MSG, uh, going up against New York Knicks, uh, who displays a record of 28 and 40. Um, this uh, this one would be at 7:30 p.m. Eastern time, so that's going to be 7:30 a.m. here in Manila. I'm just inviting everyone who have not subscribed yet to our YouTube account or YouTube channel, Pase Baller. Please click on the subscribe button below. At the same time, hit on the bell logo. That way, automatically, you guys will be receiving notifications whenever new videos are uploaded. All right. So let's take a look at the uh, standings for these two teams. Starting with New York Knicks, they are actually sitting at number 12 in the Eastern Conference. So they're actually trying to make uh, this late push uh, so that they can give themselves a chance to make it that, to that mini tournament. Uh, for their last 10 games, they have only won three times. And approaching this game, man, New York is on back-to-back -back losses. For Portland Trail Blazers, they are at number 11 um, in the Western Conference. For their last 10 games, they have only won just three games as well. Approaching this game, Portland Trail Blazers is coming off a loss. Right, so on this game, New York Knicks would have the home court advantage. In terms of um, uh, momentum, we can just skip that one because both teams have been losing lately. And in terms of fatigue, well, both teams are just coming off their rest day. Let's take a look at the injury list for both teams. Starting with Portland Trailblazers, is still uh, a lot of players are, are out for them. Eric Bledsoe, Justice Winslow, Anthony Simons, Damian Lillard, Joe Ingles, uh, Nurkic, um, Didi Luzada, and, and, and Little all out for the Blazers. So there's a total of two, four, six, eight players out for Portland. And for New York Knicks, they also have a lot of players out too. Um, Nerlens Noel, Quentin Grimes, Derrick Rose, Cam Reddish, and we all know that uh, Kemba Walker won't be playing for New York anymore. So that's a total of five players out for the Knicks. And I'm looking at the spread. Uh, it actually opened with minus 9.5 for New York Knicks. And then as we speak, it is now at minus 11. But I'm going to make this one short. Uh, the New York Knicks, just like I said earlier, they have been looking for uh, a push, a late push. They want to, of course, give themselves a chance to make it to at least number 10 or number 9 in the Eastern Conference. I know that that's not going to be easy, but at least, you know, I, I know they would want to give themselves a chance. This is uh, this may be the perfect uh, a perfect opportunity for them to start that, you know, to start that push. As we all know, they just, uh, they, they, they just came off uh, those uh, tough losses against two very strong teams. I'm talking about Brooklyn Nets and Memphis Grizzlies and they were able to hang around with them. Matter of fact, uh, they, they, even had, they, they even had the lead on those games against two, two, two tough teams. Prior to that, the New York Knicks, uh, you know, they had a three-game winning streak. So yeah, I'm pretty sure that uh, this, this would actually give them uh, a huge break. Um, they, they should actually take home that W and I understand and I trust that they will do that. For Portland Trail Blazers, um, uh, I appreciate uh, and I, I admire uh, their tenacity and, and their hustle uh, whenever they play, regardless of who they're up against with. Uh, they, they know they are undermanned, but you know they don't, they don't freaking care. They go out there, they ball, and they, you know, they do what they can. It's just that really, at the end of the day, if you don't have a, a lot, if you don't have a lot of players, if you don't have a lot of talent, it will just be totally um, an almost improbable for you to get a win. I think the last time that uh, I can under I can remember uh, them getting a win lately was that win against Washington Wizards, wherein the Wizards are on back to back. Uh, but aside from that, man, they have been losing, and uh, whenever they lose, it's like almost double digits. Uh, just that um, the last time they played against Atlanta Hawks, yes, it wasn't double digits. It was not a nine point lead, but I am not really looking at it as Portland Trailblazers had a good start. I'm looking at it as Atlanta Hawks having a bad start, if you know what I'm saying. So on this game, I'm uh, picking New York Knicks to win at the same time cover the spread of minus 11. Uh, the Knicks have a lot of youngsters are out there that they can trust, especially this Jericho Sims guy, man. This dude is actually legit. He's big, he's wide, he jumps, he jumps high, and he knows, you know, he, he knows his role. Um, and again, uh, Randall's doing his, th doing his thing, and man, RJ Barrett is improving each and every week, each and every day that you would see him. So again, my pick on this one would be New York Knicks, minus 11. Knicks, minus 11. Peace out, pase love, and God bless.